you guys what's going on what's up here today i wanted to make a video on how to twix anime footage in davinci resolve there are already some good videos out there by peach and matt but they're getting a little bit outdated so i want to make a updated one so getting right into it you want to pick a clip that will not warp that much so try to avoid fast hair movements anything that is moving very fast in the clip or fast camera movements so for this clip, it has a little bit of camera movement and there is a lot of hair moving. So now you want to make sure all your clip is trimmed and everything to the part you want and you're going to want to cut it up. So for me, I have a hotkey set as H, but you can just hit control B to split. Use your right arrow key starting from the beginning of the clip to the right and just cut up every frame like this. Alright guys, so now that you've cut up your clip, you're going to want to go ahead and remove all the dead frames. So how you do that is by finding out how many dead frames your anime actually has. So for me, if I hit right arrow key, there's a big movement right there. But the next two frames have no movement on the actual character or in the scene. Frame after that has movement, and then the next two don't. So for my anime, there are two frames of no movement. So I'm just going to delete each of those two frames that have no movement. Alright guys, now that you've done that, as you can see, I didn't remove two frames right here, but that's because the last frame is her eye opening and I wanted to leave that in, even if it is a duplicate frame, so I only deleted one of the two frames that were the same. So that's what I mean by mixing and matching dead frames, you might have to just go and see what your clip actually has, but the general rule is to delete all the dead frames until a specific part that you want to keep in. So now that I've cut up all my frames, what I'm gonna do is just drag them all back to the left so they can be together like this. All right, so now you can see we have something that looks like this, but this is pretty fast and depending on how long you want it, you're gonna want to either extend it or make it the original length. So this is where the original length was, but I don't want it to be that long. So I'm probably going to make it go about until here so make sure you just add a marker on your timeline, go to toolbox and then search up solid, grab solid color, and then control B split it on to where you put your marker. So now you should have your clips and then just a black color right there. So highlight them all, right click, go new compound clip, compound clip it, and then go into fusion. All right guys, now that you're in fusion, what you're gonna wanna do is find the last frame where your anime is still visible. So for me, I'm going to scroll through and as you can see, it starts the black color on the 11th frame. So remember your frame right here, mine is the 10th. So what you're gonna do is hit control space and then add optical flow and then add time stretcher. So for time stretcher, it's gonna automatically keyframe as soon as you put it on the timeline. So make sure you just unkeyframe it and then add in your optical flow and a time stretcher. For optical flow, you're gonna want to click it, go to advanced and turn it up by one and then go to the time stretcher. Go to the beginning of your timeline, click source time and keyframe it. Go to the end and then hit the right arrow key to go to the very end, click it again. And as you remember, my last visible frame was 10. So I'm gonna click 10 and now it should have the last frame visible that you cut up right here with all the other clips. So there's gonna be a bit of warping, but we're gonna fix that. So go to interpolation mode, instead of blend, change it to flow. And then after you hit flow, go clamp edges, backwards, prev, and then next. And then now that you've done that, you can just go ahead and open your spline. There are a lot of different splines you can do for your Twixes, but for me, I like doing this one. So hit control A and then S to smooth it make this one go to the right a little bit and then the top one go to the left and now you should have a sort of s curve and then now all you have to do is go back to your edit page and then right click and go color cache output to cache the footage and now you have to wait for the blue line to cache the footage once the footage is done caching you should have a twix that looks something like this guys that's pretty much the tutorial if you want to make it longer just extend the color to a longer portion of your timeline and if you want to mess around with your splines you can always go in here and make different kind of curves like ease in or ease out curves to make it quicker and then go very slow at the end 
So that's basically all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing and supporting my channel because we're almost to 1k subs on YouTube and I hope to bring you guys more DaVinci Resolve tutorials and content based on editing. So once again, if you guys want to reach out or anything, join my Discord and say hello. And otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Later.